Hi everybody, I'm Mona, I'm Karen's mom. Uh, I spend a lot of my time filling up community pantries and fridges around Vancouver with food. And then I film what I'm doing on my phone and I put my videos up on TikTok so that everybody around the world can see what I'm doing. That's me. That's me. That's me and Kieran and a sister Mira. We have a lot of fun with it. And now we have over 40,000 subscribers from all around the world. I know what you're asking, what's a community fridge? Well, this is a community fridge and pantry right here. There's many of them around Vancouver, but this one is in an alley uh, here in Kitsilano. This community fridge and pantry is a place for neighbors to share food with neighbors. See, if you see this one has, um, you know, some pasta, some pesto sauce, some Quaker oats, it's got some Cheetos, mac and cheese, some dog food and dog biscuits. Um, let's see what's in the fridge. The fridge has some vegetables in it. That's it, I guess. This community fridge and pantry is out here all day, every day for anybody to come and put food in or take food out of. It's run on a give what you can, take what you need system. And uh, there's no policing, which means anybody can take anything they want out of it for any reason. Like no one can come up to them and say, no, you can't take that. No, anybody can take whatever you feel like you need. Why do we need community fridges and pantries? Well, um, I believe that no one should ever have to go hungry. And there were always people who, for whatever reason, could not afford to buy food for themselves or for their families. But because of the pandemic, a lot more people have less money coming in now than they used to. And the prices of groceries in the grocery store have gone way up. So food costs more and income is less. So that means there's a lot more food insecurity. Food insecurity is when you just can't be sure where your next food is coming from. Like you might have food even for today, but you just don't have a regular source of food. These community fridges and pantries are just one way to try and fight food insecurity by creating a place where anybody can come and get food if they need food. What do I do at these community pantries and fridges? Well, I uh, check on the one close to my house, which is this one, almost every single day. So I make sure everything is organized and neat. I will clean up any messes that might be left in the fridge. I will restock it with food and toiletries. I get a lot of donations from my TikTok audience, which helps a lot. One of my favorite things to do is I love seeing what kind of food goes the fastest. So um, can you guys guess some items that might go really fast from the fridge whenever I put it in there, like food items? Go ahead and shout some out. All right, all right. If anybody guessed eggs, milk, cheese, powdered milk, and canned soups, those are some of the most popular items. One other important part of what I do is I make videos to put on TikTok. I used to work in reality television where I would take real people doing real things and make TV shows out of it. And I use a lot of those same skills to make my TikToks. I try to make them high quality with good images, good sound quality so you can hear what I'm saying. And most importantly, I try to make them interesting to watch. I want a lot of people to watch them because I want to spread the word about community fridges and pantries all around the world. So far it's working. Some of my subscribers have started their own community fridges and pantries in their towns from Kentucky to Portland, Oregon, and people all over Canada are working on it as well. Through community fridges and pantries and through the use of TikTok, people are getting food who need food all over the world. And that's such a good feeling. So I'm gonna leave you guys with an important question. How can you help? And uh, you guys are smart kids. I know you can come up with a lot of ideas. I want you to try to generate some ideas on how can you, as grade four kids, help support community fridges and pantries and help make sure that your neighbors are getting the food that they need. I want to hear your answers. Your teacher is going to report back to me.